Alright, hello everyone and welcome to another Resident Evil Resistance tier list video. Today I'm going to talk about the survivors only. I already did with masterminds, I hope you enjoyed it. And I saw some comments which was also appreciated. And yeah, this is my last tier list due to survivors. There's no one else and nothing more. To make a tier list so the survivors will be the last video uh, yeah if you enjoy like and subscribe much appreciated and i think we should start right now all right we're starting first off with samuel i put him on b tier because he has a lot of weaknesses that can be very very strong with the right build with melee against creature builds very very strong but uh, his problem is he can't really do do much against cameras and uh, buy weapons if he's running melee weapons. Uh, yeah, doesn't really have much value. He's very fun to play against creature builds, but against like against trap Alex or gun builds, he isn't really worth playing. So definitely deserves to be. The Jan, I think I put Jan on A. Very strong character. Very hard to play either. Uh, very good on cameras. High pressure for sure. Uh, very good in team. Always helpful. Uh, helping the teammates a lot. Destroying cameras and uh, covering them up. Uh, yeah, the re-instant re use. To destroy the camera for the second time also helps a lot very strong uh, her skills also very strong for example interference which is probably the meta from her uh, yeah she definitely fits in a good team always needed always a uh, team always needs her because she's a very good camera uh, support and also can be a supporter for healing, like um, pharmacy with first aid sprays. Very, very strong character, but for me personally, very hard to play. If the survivors know how to play with her, she can be very uh, tough to play. All right, next step is Valerie. Um, S rank, just because she's literally an all-rounder character. She has healing, support, damage, uh, literally everything. She's in basic. She's a healing character, a supporter character, but also can use for itself for damage. Very strong, very underrated. Uh, with surplus, she's a very good supporter. Um, with yellow balls, she can be very strong as well for damage. So for her, uh, due to her damage, she can actually be even stronger than some other characters. Uh, yeah, very tough to kill if you play yellow boost. Uh, she has low health, but definitely deserves that yellow boost. I think it's probably r decently balanced. Uh, yeah, I think she deserves S rank. All right, then we go to Tyrone. I will put him in A rank, um, just because yeah he's probably a very very good melee character, which can kick, which can buff the survivors, which can stun creatures and buy weapons. Uh, but the thing that he's the tank, he always needs the the grabs, the attacks from creatures and buy weapons just to save the others because he has the most hp in the game uh yeah very good uh, very good uh, character tough especially skills actually pretty much yeah let's say some of them are actually too strong uh yeah i think Ty tyrone definitely deserves a rank all right let's get to becca unfortunately my favorite my main becca Deserves not better than C, just because this character 
has low health, very easy to down. Uh, she's only good against creatures. She really isn't good on cameras or traps. I mean, tra traps, you know, trap Alex, for example, not really good. Dies pretty quick. Like I said, very low health. Uh, she's very, she can be very, very strong on the course. She can snipe course as well. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, against cameras and traps, she isn't really good at all. So that's why I put her on C. But anyway, like I said, she's a very, very good character against creature builds, but not really useful in meta teams. Then we go to Martin. You already know the most hated character. I, I, I'm the most hated character, in my opinion. So I, myself at least, I hate him at least a lot because he's literally an all-rounder. He can counter every single mastermind. He has especially his creature debuff skill, uh, flashy thing. Uh, also, he has the effect when he's using flashing thing that when he throws a flash grenade also uh, takes the buffs away. He has a mind's... He, his mind's also very strong, like the um, signal gemma, which makes this mastermind unable to put creatures, bioweapons, or whatever at the same place where Martin put the mind there. I think this character is pretty much one of the most broken characters. This is my personal opinion, you know. He has flash, uh, you know, he can go through traps without triggering them. He has bulletproof against guns, which is also a counter against it. Against traps, no problem. But hey, let's be real, everyone. This character is extremely broken, and I'm not gonna argue with with that character anymore. Definitely deserves S tier, S tier character. And yeah, I think that's fair. All right, the last Jill. P pretty much also an all-rounder character. But a better version of Martin. I, I'm putting her in S tier. Just because. Like I said. She's also an all rounder. Very very high damage. Uh, she has a dodge. Which makes it easier for her to. Escape from grabs. Or bio weapons or whatever. Uh, she can down bio weapons very easily. And don't even need teammates. Um, Samurai Edge. Extremely powerful, extremely powerful. Also good for core sniping, which is also kind of, you know, nuts for many maps. Because she can literally snipe almost every single core in almost every single map. Uh, especially downtown area free and casino area free. Um, yeah, what else? I think Jill has, beside Tobacco, Definitely the strongest damage dealer character in my personal opinion. She did definitely has everything. Counters the violence, very very strong camera support. Uh, also uh, traps. She has higher damage on cameras and traps with counters the violence. The Raiden makes her even very very powerful because she actually don't even need a very good weapon. You know, actually, I mean, the Matilda is actually enough for her sometimes and some. Cases, some situations, also the quick draw is also fine for her. But literally, Jill's meta is just high damage, the meta damage by the Raiden and shoot everything down or break the legs. And if you see a bi weapon, just put the Samurai on and kill the bi weapon, especially um, Mr. X and the uh, plant Yetevio. Definitely, um, yeah. Unfortunately, they never came up with balancing this game after the last update. I'm pretty sure this is a very well um, tier list to me, my personal opinion. Like I said, it's my personal opinion. Maybe you also have some other opinions beside to me. Just let me know in the comments what do you what do you think about this tier list. If it's okay, if it's wrong, if it's whatever, you know. I think these three characters deserve S, those both A, B, and C. Uh, yeah, I think that's enough. 
uh, was actually a short tier list video yeah i hope you enjoyed let me know in the comments what do you think about the tier list are those okay or not whatever you want just let me know in the comments always watching your comments and appreciate the comments as well uh yeah i would like to say thank you everyone for watching my videos yes, and keep supporting me always much appreciated uh yeah the game is currently in some problems uh, involved with the connection issues like you know i just i'm just starting the game and i can't even fight a match as survivor it says literally pops up it pops up and says uh, connection issues cannot play the game restart the game restart your connection or whatever you know i think everyone has that that's the biggest problem right now uh yeah um yeah let's hope it will be fixed we'll see what Capcom will do either they ignore us or they fix it who knows uh yeah that's it for me thanks for watching and have a nice day bye, -bye.